very happy with the support that we received from Akron and the surrounding community and actually all around the United States contacted us, giving us, you know, their sympathy and total support. And I felt like the people who took her weren't going to take care of her and she was going to die and I'd never see her again. Mm -hmm. And with my animals, they're like my babies, like kind of like my kids. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like a part of me was missing. They were trying to extort us. They knew they couldn't get rid of the snakes anywhere in Ohio because the word was out. I thought they would sell them that, you know, we're just a little mom and pop store and we wouldn't get the publicity that we did. And I'm glad they were totally wrong. I was able to get her back and she's in good health and she's well taken care of. And, you know, we're just happy Bella's home. And Bella, we miss Bella and we miss the other snakes also. But um, we got one back so far and I'm with confident that Akron Police Department will get the other ones back for us. I was doing the happy dance. <laughs> I mean, we're very excited. We're, we, we're extremely excited. How were you feeling at first when they were all stolen? When they just, the feeling was gut-wrenching. It was, I mean, this is what we do for a living. This is our passion. Um, we, we try to help people. Um, we supply, you know, feeder food for the, you know, the community. I couldn't believe that my baby was gone. I've had her about six months, so we got like really bonded, and I honestly never thought I would get her back. I feel like everything's back to normal. I'm so happy to have her back. This is getting back. I'm speechless. It's just, it's, we're tickled pink. It feels like a thousand pounds really lifted off my shoulders.